Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I uh, wanted to go over, we just became a dealer for these Russian bear tents. So I wanted to show you, this is our largest model, which is the eight person hexagon tent. Uh, so I'm just going to set that up here real quick, show you guys what it is, give you some a little bit of details on it. Uh, first and foremost, this is it put away. So this is the packaging right here. A few of the details I want to go over, this is our largest one, but when you think of a four per, or not, you think of a, uh, a hot stove top type tent, that type of hunting tent or what have you, uh, this is 97 pounds, which is heavy for their line of products, but it's actually quite light when you compare all of the other models on, on the, um, that are available. Plus your packaging, this is the largest footprint they have as a package, but it's still small compared to what else is on the market. So you're looking at approximately, let's say about 93 inches in length, about 14 inches by 14 inches in your diameter. And uh, some of the things that I really like about this is, First, let's go over the handles, like the packaging. This is gonna last quite a long time. The rubberized um, packaging that they have here is very well built. They have extremely strong carrying handles here, double stitching throughout, which is quite important. And the thing I like, and a lot of, like just, there's a lot of attention to detail. Like as an example, you have pull handles on either side. So this can either be used for carrying or for pulling. Um, IMAX military, a lot of the kit that we had had pull handles. And it just makes sense. Like even the rucksack that I have right there has, it's an Arteryx, it's a military uh, rucksack that has extra carrying handles specifically. So just for quickly grabbing and going basically. So yeah, let me open this up. I'll go over it. Now, when I open it up, uh, this is a full eight person tent. It's uh, the dimensions of it inside is literally 150 square feet. It's 184 inches by 184 inches. It has a total of it's um, five windows, very large windows on it. And I'll show that a little bit later on in the video. It has three layers, including uh, the outer layer, which you'll see, which is a nice camouflage pattern, which is nice and handy to have, especially in today's interesting time, um, as well as three entrances. And then it even has, believe it or not, there's a porch that can open up and you can completely close that off with mosquito netting as well too. But here, let me open it up. Now, one person can do this, but it is obviously easier if you have a couple people to do it. So I'll just show you just with myself. I've only set this up once in the past, or sorry, twice before in the past. So um, basically, I'm going to be setting up basically as quick as you would the first time. Because with anything, there's a little bit of learning. So all you do is, let me just grab the bottom. There we go. All you do is you just lift it up. This is the top right here. There's one strap right here that I'm going to have to undo, but I'm just going to put it in, in place over here. And then we'll, uh, we'll do that. So I'll just pop it here. And the buckle for the strap, let's just undo that. I'll pull it. I'm just gonna let it fall into place, just to show you, nice and simple. And I'm just gonna pull it back just so you can see the view from the camera. So let me do that first. There, so I'll come around that side and just show you guys. It's really, really simple how they have it designed. So I'll start right here. You got these pull tabs right here. There's a total of six of these. You just pop these out one at a time. There's one. There's two. Third one. And once this is done, you can literally just pop open the inside. Here, let me just grab here. There we go. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is see where the door is. Door's right here. Let me just spin it around a little bit so you can see. There. Because normally, this is where the stove pipe goes. So I'm just gonna go inside. All it is, it's like an umbrella. You just pop it straight up. So it's quite easy to do. So like I said, here's the, the first layer. 
There's a second layer here. Uh, and the cool thing about the mosquito netting they use, it's camouflage, which is kind of cool. And there's your third layer. So here, let me just kind of make sure everything's pulled out, stretched out. There. That way we have the full physical footprint here. There. So here, let me go inside. I'll pop this up. You'll see how quick that is. And you know what? It doesn't take a lot of strength. Um, you know, pretty much anybody can lift this up. And there you go. That gives you an idea of the footprint right there. And I'm just going to show you now, because we're here, it's got a total of five of these windows. And they're three layers as well. So, your first layer, where'd we go here? There we go. Is going to be this material. This totally, there's, uh, they've got the loops all throughout. I'm just going to put it up just to, to make it quicker. Your second layer is this, which is the mosquito netting, as I showed you. And that's the... Um, the, uh, the camouflage mosquito netting, which is really nice that they have that. Oh, let me get the other zipper. And then the third layer. Give you an idea of your window space. Like, look at the, the ventilation that you have. Five of these all around. And then the neat thing is... Here. Let me grab this. It does come with one of these. And these are rated, I believe, for minus 50. So these will Velcro into space... Into, uh, into place so there is your clear window so let's say you want to go out uh you got awesome stars at night but you want to keep warm with a wood burning stove um yeah you've got a great view you want to see the aurora borealis you're in an area where you can do that well you can do that and still keep warm which is awesome so here let me put that back and then the other thing i'll show you a little bit later on in the video this is their large wood burning stove. I've got it here. Um, I will put it in place here a little bit later on in the video. I'll set that up so you see how easily that sets up. Only 43 pounds and that's their large one. I did a video earlier, it was close to minus 30 Celsius, uh, Fahrenheit minus 40 something, I'm not 100% sure. Either way, cold. And I was in there in t-shirts and a short, I was sweating. And that was using just um, basic firewood. We didn't even, all we have is mostly softwood up here. Either way, guys, I'll uh, go to the rest of the video here in a bit, and I'll show you show you the rest. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, guys. Okay, so what I want to show you now, we're inside the tent. Um, I haven't set up a lot because I want to show you the overall space. I've set up one chair. I've got my, my ruck. I've got the stove here, another chair here. I brought in the bag uh, that everything, um, basically everything that comes with it. So why don't I start with that? I'm going to show you everything there. Then I'm going to set up the stove and show you how easy it is to set everything up. But first and foremost, uh, everything that comes in the bag. So you've got all of your, your lines, your, your tent lines here. You've got replacement parts uh, for it. There's even glue, adhesive for repairing anything that might need to be repaired, which is nice. Inside here is, they've got two different types of uh, ground spikes, which is nice. So they've got your basic ones here. And they've got these ones, so it's like a screw almost. And the, the, the main reason for these are you can actually ice fish with this, which is kind of awesome. So the sides or the bottoms will actually unzip so you can drill your holes through. You can have set up your space wherever you want. And like I mentioned, this, this does have the option of a three-layer uh, insulated floor. I just don't have it here. But that would basically increase the warmth of, uh, of yourself in the tent. And then like I was mentioning to all of you beforehand, let me just put this here. Oh, and they've got extra straps. So that strap you saw that kind of held everything together. If you do lose it, you've got an extra one here, which is nice. And there's the window. Oh, and then all of the bags. I don't remember if I mentioned them or not. There's a total of five of them. So there are three like this that you hang from the inside. And it's just a way to um, be organized. So if you've got three people in here sleeping, everybody's got a little spot where you can put your, your toiletries, whichever, whatever you want in there. So it's kind of nice to have that. Like I said, a total of three of those. And actually here, I'll put one up so you see how it works. And then they've got just a bag just for holding items as well. But here, I'll put one up. You guys can see. Uh, let's put it up right here. 
So they've got all throughout, they've got this Velcro and then you can just put it in place and then you decide where you want it based on the windows. Oh, and the windows, I'm going to show you real quick. So there's three layers in total. You've got your white layer here. You've got a mosquito netting. And the thing I love about the mosquito netting, let me just find the end. Here it is. It's camouflage, which is kind of awesome. So you've got that. And then of course your main layer there. So I'm just going to leave that up, but just uh, in case you wanted to, just to kind of give you a perspective on this. And because of these three layers, like I did a video not that long ago, I believe it was crisp not Christmas Eve, but just before Christmas, where we were in here and it was literally minus 30 and I was in shorts and a t-shirt. I was unbelievably hot. And you'll see why, because this is the stove. I'm just going to set it up. I'll pull everything out, let everybody see what's there. I'm just going to move it over just so you get a huge view of everything. So again, everything comes. I really like how well designed this is. I have used this stove twice, so it is dirty already, but that's fine. So this is it right here. Now, the bonus, and you'll see in a moment, on either side they have a steel plate. You take these off, you have glass on either side. The bonus to this is it protects it. So when you're actually transporting it, there's less of a chance that you're going to break it. But if you do, the thing I love about what they've done here, I don't have them out. These are your replacement uh, sides for the glass. They're metal, but you can easily, right here in the field, and there's a gasket inside by the feel of it, you can redo that. So if you do break the glass, you can easily replace that, which is awesome. They do come with, so here's your fire retardant uh, floor that you're gonna put out. And the stove pipes right here, so I'm just gonna, gonna eyeball it and put it there. And I'll just open this up. I've already opened the outside one. So there's two in total, which is awesome because a lot of them just have one. And the other thing, I don't know if you could tell from the camera, but they have two metal sleeves right in here. And that is so, like, everything is attention to detail on what they do here, which is really, really impressive. And the other thing, too, I'll mention real quick. So basically, um, you're not going to worry about carbon monoxide poisoning. They have this here, and this is designed just for a little bit of fresh air to come in. And this is what's going to feed your stove. So we'll just open that up for you there right away. So I will get everything out. So what it comes with, believe it or not, it even comes with a smoke detector, which is kind of awesome. And you got gloves they, they give you as well. So I'll just set those aside. Smoke detector, I haven't done anything with. Um, those are the legs right there. It does come with a battery for the smoke detector. And this is the top part. So we'll put that out in a moment. But let me just get the legs on this guy first and then we'll open everything up so you can see how it all looks. There we go. So all four of those are there. And I'm just going to move this guy on its side. And what you're hearing there is everything's on the inside. So what we have on the inside right now, this guy, is all of the stovepipe. So it's designed to be easily transportable, which is nice. So let's get that guy there. This guy here. There we go. We just got two more. And as you can see, everything sets up extremely quickly and very, very well designed. I got that right. There we go. And then you can tighten these in, in space so they're not going to uh, they're not going to pop out on you, which is a good idea. So here, let me set this in, in, in place and then I'll kind of go over a few of the features with it. And again, that's just all the piping that's on the inside. This is, I, I believe it's about 43 pounds is the weight. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here, guys. Just because I'm getting the used to this, I've only set this up a couple times now. And I remember at first, when the first time I set this up, I questioned, why do they have the stovepipe here? But it kind of makes sense because that's, it's closer to the inside of the tent. So that's going to retain your heat. So your heat's going to be forward with that. So here's all your stovepipe. Like I said, I've used this already, so it's a little bit dirty. Even comes with 
that for getting rid of the soot. There we go. And then let me just get this in place here. We'll go outside here in a little bit. Oh, we got to go the right way. I'll go outside in a moment and I'll, I'll put it on. But the piece that goes on the top, where'd I put it? That's this right here. So that's just designed. And by the way, the very top portion, which I didn't put up, that's this right here. Again, everything's well thought out. <laughs> There's a soot. So you've got these little attach points. I'm just going to keep it this way. So you've got your attach points here so you can actually add a line in case there's a uh, heavy wind. So it's going to keep it from um, flying all over the place. Yeah, but that is basically it here, guys. So I'm just going to run outside here real quick. I'll attach this guy. And when I attach it, I'm going to have to push the wall in just to make it easier. And then what I'll do is I'll go over all of the other pieces here. So just bear with me a second. Like I said, there's three layers. So that's what I'm going through here. So just take me a second to attach this on. And I just got to reattach it on the inside because it's kind of off kilter here a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so bear with me a second. I'll get that on. There. And then all I do, just to make it easy, I just pop this out. And then just pull it back forward. Nice and easy. But here, we'll go back inside. I'm not going to attach the guy lines to the top because we're not worried about heavy wind right now. But I'll just light it all up just to show you. Okay, and like I was mentioning here, I'm going to take the sides off so you can see everything. So there's a total of four wing nuts right here that you can take off. And that is this guy here. And then these just pop right off and there's your glass side. So I'm just going to set that right there. They do call these a heat shield as well too. And I got to say like this really puts off a lot of heat. So, I guess if you're sleeping at night and you don't want the ambiance, to me, I kind of like having, being able to see the fire. But if you don't want to see it, you could literally just close that off. So here, let me just kind of, oh, we'll throw some wood in there. We'll show you how quick and easy it is. We've got some birch, which is nice. Now, I'm going to show you guys this too. A lot of people may or may not be aware of this product. This is fire paste. Uh, I went out one weekend, we hiked 16 kilometers over three mountains to get to where we wanted to go. We ended up leaving early because all we had was rain and it was not comfortable. This stuff goes with me everywhere. doesn't matter how wet the wood is, it, it'll burn. So, basically all you do is just light that. There you go. Your fire paste is lit. But yeah, pretty simple guys. Like, like I said, everything is really well thought out with this tent. This is their largest one they offer, which is the hexagon one. So it's not going to be for everybody. But I look at it this way. Uh, for me... Even if there's only a couple people of us, a couple of us going, it's kind of nice to have that extra space. So I would, if it was me personally, now again, it comes down to everybody's budget as well. I would either do this or I would do the up five, but that's just me. So it always comes down to what your budget is and what have you. So now the neat thing about this is here's your front face that goes on. And here is basically your baffle. So you can control the amount of airflow with this guy right here based on all the holes. So if you want more air going in, you just leave it uh, 
more to this end, or you can, you can cinch it right up. But just to kind of give you an idea. But that's it, guys. Um, oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, if you can pan up here, we've got this, uh, this net. So this is actually quite nice how they've done this. So um, you do have hooks all throughout. You do have the net here, so you can use any of those to keep items dry, or if you have electronics or what have you. Basically, I've got a 400 watt lumen light. It's, we don't need it right now, but normally I would just have it here, and then the, the camouflage mosquito netting makes it so it's not so bright. It's just nice ambient lighting. There are a total of three entrances. So there's one here, one here, and one here, and then there's a fourth. Now the cool thing is, and I'm not gonna set it up, but this is basically a porch right here. So this opens up, you do have the option of there's it can be fully mosquito netted off as well too and i do believe they have a three uh, season or sorry a three layer floor is for that as well too but uh yeah well this is it guys like it's a pretty impressive tent this doesn't take long it's going to be hot in here i won't even have a jacket on in probably about five to ten minutes it takes literally no time to warm up in here so any questions my name's rennie i'm the owner of the company uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, obviously what we're known for is our solar blankets or solar generator combinations. Um, basically when I find items that I would want to use personally myself, I usually reach out to companies and Russian bear tent. This is one I, I definitely want to use myself and I have started to use. It's a pretty awesome tent just to have for not only our interesting times, but basically just enjoying the outdoors with our friends and family. Okay. So again, my name's Reddy. I'm the owner of the company. Any questions, give us a call, uh, shoot me an email. I'll have all of that information right at the bottom. I'll have links to our page with all of the Russian bear tents. So you, you can look at that. Um, oh, and before I forget, one of the items I didn't mention, I don't have it here, which is really cool. For this specific stove, they do have a 12 liter container that goes right on the front for heating 12 liters of water. I'm not sure what that is in gallons. That's what, two to three say almost three gallons as a rough estimate. So uh, yeah, no, you can easily uh, use that here. And the bonus to that is not only are you gonna have hot water on demand, literally, um, it'll actually keep your tent warmer in general because if that's heated and you have heat from here and from the pipe, it's just more conduits of heat, if that makes sense. Okay, either way guys, enjoy your day. We'll talk to you soon. I'll post this video after the weekend. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Bye then.